Help me understand what you were saying when you were talking about European players. Woo! Okay. Yeah. Oh, there was fire there. Uh huh. Um, the NBA took away aggression. They took away aggression to open up the Euro League. When they first started getting here, it was too rough for them. You're talking about Europeans. They didn't make it. Eventually, they softened the rules. They didn't soften the rules for the Americans. They softened the rules to open up international. Also talked about they don't play defense, not athletic. Uh, what are you trying to say here, Gilbert? No, no, no. Okay, so, you know, the idea at the All-Star break was how do we change the game back to more defense? Everything became about defense. How do we make it more defensive and competitive? And my whole thing then was why aren't you crediting the, the offense? The offense just got better. There's element in this game that's gotten better, and you can't rewind what you did. And what was done probably mid-2000s is trying to figure out how we can make this game, the game global, okay. right? And by opening up the game global means bringing the internationals. So if you think about, like, how the game was in the early 2000s, it was a lot of physical play, right? You know, only, you know, like Dirk was, you know, there was really only a – three or four European players that really survived in that brute type of era. Um, so it was, it was one of the ideas of just like making it a three point, the Dan Tony system come in, given that type of system legs to move up and down, no, no uh, defense, just scoring seven seconds, no defense, no foul threes and layups. It was the Dan Tony system. But, but Euro- Gilbert, foul. is there a difference between soft and, and finesse? It's the same. It depends. But finesse and soft is the same, right? It's not. It's 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 one and the same. Okay. You go on to say you go to college to learn defense. What college do Europeans go to? They have no uh-huh. athleticism. They have no speed. No jumping ability. They're a liability on defense. There are 150 euros in the league today. Name the top defenders. And then you mentioned that uh, Giannis is in there and uh, Rudy Gobert. Other than that, they're just offensive players. Yes. And that's bad for the NBA. No, it's great for the NBA because it opened up scoring. But you're so saying we, it's bad for the NBA because these guys, they have the, the league is softer. Um, the fact that LeBron at 39 is averaging 25 a game, you point that out as well. So you would it, like to go back to when it was more physical. It's, no, it's bad. It's bad. Like the Euro is bad if you want defense in. So I'm saying the Euros expanded this game. They bring in the five men that can shoot the three, which means the court is open. So now because the court is open, all the athletic guys can get to the rim. Do So it became a, a very great game offensively. So if you want to push the idea of we want defense, then let's say, okay, well, Take away the guys that expanded this game. If you don't like that idea, then be quiet. It was more of the sarcastic way of saying, just leave the game the way it is because it's it's expanding. There's no more Shaquille O'Neal's and the dinosaur power force that sit down there and play brew game. These guys are coming in at 6'10", 6'11", 7'6", and they can shoot the three. So now that they can shoot the three, Guys who are just athletic can live better, too. So it's popularized the game. So th- it's going to just get it's just going to get better because well, wait, I'm, t- I'm having a hard time following yes. what your message is, because it sounds like you're anti-European, that they've ruined the games and game and it's bad for American players. No, no. See, so that was the sarcastic part. If you're saying the game is being ruined because there's no defense, then I'm saying, okay, the guys who made it more offensively great, who brought in more money into the game, they did it because of their skill. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like the way the game is now, then blame them. And since you're not going to blame them, then just be quiet of the whole idea of putting in all these new rules. Because if you put in a three second, there's no three seconds. Everyone's going to shoot more threes. So that's not going to help. You put in the hand checking. That's not going to help. So just let it go. Just enjoy the game for what it is. You don't think you don't think the Joker could survive back in the 90s? Yeah, the Joker. Okay, so think think about what I'm saying. So if we wanted to go into that part of it. The Euros that are really expanding this game are all big men. 
right? You take out, you take out Luca. What is your, who is your next best Euro point guard? Right. And then who is your, who is your top Euro shooting guards? Who is your top Euro small forwards? So it's just, it's just the bigs. Even back then, most of the Euro bigs are the ones that's coming into this league dominating because they have a skill that the American bigs do not have. I mean, you have Wagner, who they put at the shooting guard sometimes. He's 6'11". <laughs> that, that's where the game has changed. You can't rewind it I think back. it's Wagner, by the way, not Wagner. Wagner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wagner. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean we, let's pronounce it correctly, you know, yeah, European yeah, style. European style. Yeah, so, uh, so for... An American style for an athletic kid, the Euro has done something that we're just not teaching over here. And that's skilled, that's team, um, that's the understanding of the game overall. So when you have them in a the game and they're pushing the limits, that means everything goes up. Popularity goes up, money goes up. Right. If the game didn't expand to like a Euro style, there wouldn't be three hundred and fifty million dollar contracts. No, that's it. That's the Euro style. So if you don't like where the game is, then let's blame. <laughs> and that's it was the more sarcastic way of saying if you don't like the way the game is, then blame the Euros. And then let's go back to 1985 basketball and see how you like that one.